Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Cooking with Nikki. Guys, I am so sorry to taking so long to come back with a next video. So guys, today we are going to prepare some okra and chicken. So let's get into it. Here is my ingredients laid out. So let's go through it step by step and get started. In my bowl here, I have a pan of okra chipped. I have my chicken diced very fine. Uh, we eat okra, we don't want the chicken big inside, so we strip it very fine. No, not too fine, like extra fine too, but dice like this. That's okay. Well seasoned, as you can see here, with my chicken seasoning, my green seasoning, and everything. And in my green seasoning, we have a little ginger and stuff inside, and onion, garlic, pepper, everything is in the green seasoning too. So all I just do is put my little chicken seasoning, and there's it and little salt and I use one chicken cube and I use my green seasoning and I and I season it. So here I have I have my honey and garlic in this bowl. Here I have all of my fresh um shell um seasoning I like my shell of my thyme my my pork and so everything is in there. Here I have my tomato and here I have some um bell pepper and carrot and in my plate here i have some paprika complete seasoning or pepper seasoning and i have some black pepper i have some dry basil two cube and i have some um free salt seasoning in here in the can here so my pan is on hotting with the oil so what we're going to do now is start work on the chicken first so I'm going to have my chicken in and I will get back to you guys. Just hold a second. Okay, in here I had my chicken. I was going to leave it to turn up and then we will leave it back. We allow it to turn up about 10 minutes and then we will come back to it and see the beef at the next two extra minutes and see how we want the chicken to turn up there. Now we have the real turn up to do the um, okra, but still we got to make sure it's turn up there. So we're gonna leave this and then we're gonna get back to it. This is six minutes. As you can see the chicken produces its own water. So we're going to allow this to go for five minutes. We want to the water can dry out and it's a prep and we can move. And then we're going to take it out to the pan and start work and the and the okay. Okay guys, I am back. As you can see here, we don't have any fire the water out, so we need to save this out now. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do, my chicken is back into the bowl, don't have any fire. You can see here. So what I'm going to do is add in my onion and my garlic in the pan now. I had in that and I'm going to let that start there for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to add in all of my this is my two really pepper and my shallow and my shallow time to add that in. Going to let the, I'm going to put in some sweet pepper, not all of it. I'm going to let some of the sweet pepper, but I want to leave the carrot for last. So I'm going to add in the carrot last when they cut uh, both finish so that I could eat the carrot. I want to taste the carrot to the pot. So 
we ain't training everything as I say the tomato and the carrot when we're in last when the fat almost finished. So let me show you in my pot here if you can see it kind of. So I'm going to add in all of my seasoning here. So I have it all of my powder seasoning and I'm going to bring it together and then I'm going to add in my hot sauce. You see here I just added my hot sauce. And I'm going to fry it up so you can add it in the It is too slimy when you cook it. And if you have a lime or a lemon, you can see the grit inside and it will help cut out the slime. But don't cover it when you cook it. It will cause it to get more slime. The lime and the lemon is cut out of the sun right away when you squeeze it. I'm more than a drop. So as you can see, I got everything together now. So we're going to leave this to fry up and bring it back to it and turn the chicken. Okay guys, after after wait for six minutes, I think it's with me. I had in the rest of them. I know that I had in the bowl, so I had one, I had it in there. So what I'm going to do is add in all the rest of with the chicken. Okay, I had it in with the chicken. So what I'm going to do now, as you can see here, is put everything together with the car. Everything needs to be. I'm going to keep this next 10 minutes and then it's finished. By the time then, the slime will come out, not all of it, but I don't want all the slime to out of it, but keep here. Some of the slime will reduce. Okay, as you can see over there. So lovely. I just love how it looks right now. They just can start looking at it. So you have to allow this to fry for 10 minutes and then we finish. Okay guys, this is what I am looking for. I don't know about you, but if you want to let it fry down more, it is up to you. But this is just my way how I like. Okay? So this is okay for me. And I will have this with some white rice. And as you can see, I put two cups in here to steam. I am going to sit down and I'm going to eat this with some white rice and my steamed pepper. Guys, I'm wishing you was here so you can get a smell that coming out of this kitchen right now. So good. So what I'm going to do is plate it and show you how I'm going to have this. Okay guys, I am back and this is how I'm going to enjoy my fried okra and chicken. And I hope you guys do enjoy this video. And now I am back on track. I will continue trying to bring you video daily now. So, as I say, if you do enjoy this video, you can give me a thumbs up leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think or what would you like to see on my next video and please do not forget to subscribe and hit that little bell at the side so you can always be notified i always be notified every time i drop a video love you guys so much thanks for the support it means a lot to me see you guys in my next video bye